All right, let's get practicing in QuickBooks Online. Grab the link below so that you can follow along. Today we're going to be talking about how to make an account inactive. This exercise comes from Section 1, Lesson 5 of our Basic Level Certification course. You can find out more about that below as well. So let's get started with the exercise. We are, of course, going to start in the sample company. Um, so here I am in my sample company. I currently am in the chart of accounts because I previously, um, you, I did this right on the heels of a previous exercise. When you first enter the sample company, you're gonna go to the dashboard, which looks like this. So you might have this screen here. Um, and let's go ahead and read our scenario. So you are doing some cleanup work for Craig and notice that he has two accounts called equipment rental, one of which is a sub account of job expenses. You run some reports and see that the second one is not being used. So you decide to make the second one inactive in order to save space. How do you go about this? Okay, so step one, from the left navigation bar, select accounting and click chart of accounts. So. Um, I was already in there previously, but maybe you're starting from here. Maybe you're starting already in the chart of accounts. We're going to get there by going to, from accounting to chart of accounts. Now, if this is the first time that you are using the chart of accounts in this, um, in this version of the sample company, you'll have this extra little thing right here. Take a peek under the hood and see your chart of accounts. But notice I didn't have that because I have already been in the chart of accounts. Okay, so for steps two through three say scroll down or use the search bar to find the equipment rental account underneath job expenses. Then you're going to click the down arrow in the action column and select make inactive. Okay, and it also says make inactive reduces usage. Okay, so here we have two, if you can see on the picture, there are two equipment rental accounts. So this equipment rental is a main level account, but this other equipment rental is a sub account of job expenses. So this is the one down here that we're going to want to make inactive. Okay. So let's see what that looks like in the sample company. Okay, so let's see, how did I search for it? Looks here, I just scrolled. So let's scroll here. Okay, so I'm gonna scroll in here. Okay, and I'm down in my expenses now. So here is the equipment rental, okay? Um, that is the, the account. And then here's the job expenses. Mm, here we go. Here is the equipment rental that is underneath job expenses. Okay, so this is the one that we're going to make inactive. This is the one we're going to keep. This is the one that we are going to make inactive. Okay, so I'm going to go right across here. I'm going to click the down arrow in and select make inactive reduces usage, okay? It's gonna ask me if I'm sure that I wanna do this. You can always undo it. This is one of the things that um, if you decide you want it later, you make a mistake, you can always undo it. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and say yes. And let me go back to my uh, exercise here, step four. That's what we just did when prompted to confirm the change, click yes. And um, of course, I have a little note in here that says, you know, consult your business owner before making any accounts inactive. Um, this is just for the purposes of this exercise. And then for step five, to see the inactive accounts in the chart accounts list, you wanna click the small gear above the grid and then check include inactive. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, so now our list no longer includes, let me go down to expenses again. So here is the one that we kept, okay? And then now there is no longer the one that is um, under job expenses, okay? So if I want to be able to see the ones that I have made inactive, I can go up here and click this little gear icon, not the big icon, 
not the big gear, but this little gear right here, when I click that, it tells me what columns that I want to show in my list and I can select include inactive right there. Okay, so now if I scroll down and I go back down to that one that I um, previously made inactive, notice here it says in parentheses deleted. So this is that's how you know that this is the one that is inactive and then you can make it active again by clicking make active if you want. Um, and then of course if you want to remove that from the list you would just do the same thing by clicking uh, unchecking include inactive. Okay, and I believe that is the end of our exercise. Um, you can react to the account I just talked about. Um, so that's it. All right, next we're going to head over to products and services.